So the snow may be winding down, but our team coverage, of course, is just ramping up right now. We want to check in with our crew in Anne Arundel County. All right, Scott Broom joins us there live with a look at some pretty cool snow melting technology. Scott, we need any advantage we can get. Yeah. Well, they've got a great advantage here at the Lawyers Mall at the State House Complex. Here in Annapolis, like in a lot of places, it snowed three to four inches today. But where I'm standing, it's dry and it's warm. Why is that? It's because Lawyers Mall was redeveloped as part of the big restoration project down here, and they actually heated the pavement uh, and the pavers here in the mall, which, uh, you know, it's, it's something interesting to see in a snowstorm. In fact, I'm gonna show you this with my partner, Tom Capania, behind the camera. We walk around here. There's Thurgood Marshall, the great Chief Justice, not Chief Justice, first uh, African-American Justice of the Supreme Court from Maryland. There's snow on Thurgood Marshall's head, but down here on the ground because of the way this wall was designed and heated to handle snowstorms, there's no snow at all. This is the first significant storm that's happened since this was all installed after a big restoration project here. Earlier today, I talked to the state official who's in charge of facilities, Luis Luna, and he told me more about it. It uses glycol, glycol being a, a nanofreeze that is warmed by steam, steam that we already generate to heat the buildings in the Capitol complex. In the long run, it's gonna save us a great deal of time, money, environmental impact. Lawyers Mall is Maryland's town square. This is where rallies and news conferences and gatherings and celebrations are held year round. And we will want to make sure that that mall is always available for the people who come to Annapolis for those events. By keeping the Lawyers Mall clean and safe, it's going to help everybody. So kind of a luxurious spot in a snowstorm, a place where the snow piles up and melts away right away. It cost $2.3 million, which sounds kind of luxurious, doesn't it? But Mr. Luna pointed out to me that let's say over a 25 or 30 year period, you don't have to spread salt down. So all the damage that's associated with that doesn't happen. No environmental problems with it. No slip and fall incidents, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, with something like this. And of course, the maintenance costs over that long period of time more than recover the front end cost of the 2.3 million it, co it costs to put this in. So uh, there you go. Lawyer Small in Annapolis in a snowstorm with no snow at all. Reporting live in Annapolis, back to you. You know, you think of the cost to pay someone to shovel too. I mean, to your point, Scott, of like, you know, the savings. Exactly. If they could just figure out how to do that on all of the roads. Right. Right? How much That would be the thing, wouldn't it? How much time could we save then? By the way, you're a time saver. You got from Prince George's County to the state capitol in under an hour. Yeah. We're all very impressed with you back here that you were able to pull that off. Well, that's a, a, a testament to the road crews. The primary roads on the way over here were wet and largely clear. We were able to go highway speeds. It's not the same on the side streets, obviously, but right. things are looking good as we're recovering from this storm. It has stopped snowing here. Okay. Got it. Scott well, Broom for us. Fortunate yeah. for you that it stopped snowing as well. All right. Thanks, yeah. Scott. So if you